morning, Fitties. This week our topic is frozen foods. And so I'm going to show you the new smoothie recipe that I've been using lately. And it, because it uses frozen fruit. Now, you got to make sure that when you buy frozen fruit, that what you're getting is the, and I cut it off this bag, but it should say no sugar added or, you know, make sure that when you look at the back of it, the only ingredient in your bag of fruit is the actual fruit that's supposed to be in it. This one is strawberries and then I have some mango chunks here. And the problem is that you have to be careful of is that sometimes they will add sugar or additional preservatives and things like that. But what you really want to get is just the plain old fruit with nothing added. And that really is actually, they say that sometimes frozen fruits and vegetables can be a little bit more nutritious than fresh fruits and vegetables sometimes because when these are frozen, they are picked and frozen within a day or two. They're almost immediate. Whereas, and the same thing with vegetables, whereas with your picked vegetables, fresh produce, things like that, they're picked at the farm, shipped to your store, they might sit out for a few days, you never know how long they've been out there. And fruits and vegetables will decrease in their nutritional value over time. So let me show you how I make my smoothies. I have my blender here, which this is why I was hoping to get a magic bullet, because I have a very small kitchen and my blender is kind of big and bulky. But I have my blender and I just add some strawberries. I don't really measure the strawberries and stuff. I just kind of throw some in. Um, I usually get about three smoothies out of each bag of um, fruit. So there's the strawberries and then a little less on the mango. But I add the mango chunks. A few more. And then I use the light and fit vanilla yogurt. It's only it's got 110 calories per one cup, but I only use about a third of a cup. So I use about three large tablespoons of the vanilla yogurt. And you want to make sure you get vanilla yogurt and not plain yogurt because plain yogurt doesn't have any flavor to it. And um, the vanilla yogurt is just tastier. And then for the liquid I add about a little over a half a cup of milk between a half and two thirds. And you need to make sure that you have the milk in there or some sort of liquid. Um, I use milk because it has some flavor to it rather than water. Water just waters it down for me. And the great thing about using the frozen fruits is you don't have to add ice. And therefore, you have all of your smoothie is flavorful with fruits or the yogurt or the milk, whatever. It ha everything in it has some flavor to it. And with the vanilla yogurt, I don't have to add because it has some sweetness to it and the milk has a little bit of sweetness to it and the fruit obviously has sweetness to it. I don't add any kind of artificial sweetener or sugar or anything. So basically, my smoothie recipe is about five points for all of this. Um, and it fills up, this is what I use to put it in and it fills this up. Um, for the most part, depending on how much fruit I put in to start with. But okay, here we go. Now I often have to dig in here and stir around because it gets a little bit tough for the blender to blend. And, and using the video magic, I'm going to do what they do on the cooking shows and just cut right to the end. Uh, took a little bit longer to blend than I thought it would and I ended up having to add in a little bit more milk because um, <clears throat> it wasn't stirring like it should and because it wasn't enough liquid. So I added just a splash more milk and here is my smoothie. Well, I finished this up so that I can get this out of here and get to work on time. I hope everybody has a great week and I'm looking forward to hearing what everybody has to say about frozen foods. I will try to put the recipe for this in the comment section and if you have any questions for me then just post them in the comments and I'll try to get better about actually answering them. It seems like every time I get a notification that there's a comment on my video I'm either at work or on my phone and I can't comment on comments from either location. So I always forget about it. So I will try to be better about remembering to comment on, you know, answer people's questions and comments and things like that. And that's all. Bye!